So let's take a look at a web browser. What I have open here is a browser window and this gray line across the top this all with all of this stuff this these are my um, favorites going across here these are some little apps that i have added to my web browser this scroll bar down the top is part of the browser window so this gray line and the blue line above it are the web browser this um, a whitish area here is a web page the web page i happen to be on is called msn Dot com and I know that because I look right here in the address bar this is the address bar and it says www.msn.com now with the www in front of it I know it's a web address it's the particular series of letters that gets me to this page it used to be that we always had to type something in the web bar web address bar we had to type it exactly um, and it used to be much more difficult than it is now. Now that we have modern web browsers, we can type actual searches in the address bar. We also have a search bar right here. Now I've typed in Kodiak College in my search bar and this particular search engine, the like group that's going to go out and find stuff for me is called Bing. So if I hit enter here, it's going to go out and find Kodiak College. Now you'll notice that the address is not Kodiak College up here. I have searched on Bing for Kodiak College and I have a page with some results on it, but I'm not actually at the Kodiak College web page yet. Since I know the Kodiak College web address, I could just type in www.koc.alaska.edu and I would go directly to the Kodiak College webpage. But most people don't type in web addresses anymore. We usually perform a search. Now here, this is an interesting page because we've got the bar across the top of my web browser and there's a little search box right here. Now, if I use this search box on the Kodiak College webpage, I'm only searching Kodiak College webpage. Big search engines like Bing or like Google search the entire web. They search the internet. They go much farther. So now this browser that I'm using right now, I'm using Chrome. Some people use Firefox. So I've got some pictures here. Here's a picture of the Firefox browser. If you're using Firefox, you'll see something like that. If you're using Internet Explorer, you're going to click on the big blue E. And if you're using Google Chrome, you'll click on something that looks like that colorful representation. So hopefully this little video has made a bit clearer what the difference is between a web browser, which is the way you get on the internet, this big window here, and a web page, which is the white area inside where you go. It's the place where this address brings you to. And you should know now too that you can search in both the address bar and in the search bar on your web page, the address bar on your web browser.